This Gourmia air fryer is completely busted. The screen doesn't turn on at all, so we're gonna see if we can fix this. We'll pull it apart, removing all the screws to expose some electronics and see what we can find. This air fryer is now in pieces. It's really a matter of just removing nearly all the screws that you see. These are all of the screws. And eventually you get down to the guts of the unit. Here's the fan, circuit board, the motor for the fan, and I have a multimeter here. It's set to the continuity setting, such that if these probes are touched together, the positive and negative, red and blue, you'll hear a sound from the multimeter indicating continuity or electrical connection. This is a thermal fuse. If too much power goes through here, or rather if this fuse becomes too hot, continuity is broken, you no longer maintain electrical connection, and the unit will power off. This is shoved conveniently into this hole with the insulation here in white over top of it. I've already fully exposed everything. So if I touch these probes to this thermal fuse, I don't hear anything from my multimeter indicating it's lost electrical connection. I need a new fuse on this side. You hear the multimeter beeping, but across the fuse, nothing. So I can look very closely and it'll be hard to see on the video, but on this fuse are some markings. I'm gonna to have to find a replacement fuse. I'll look online, hopefully come up with a replacement and solder that in to hopefully fix the entire unit. Before I go and buy a new thermal fuse, I did a little trick here cut out the thermal fuse and just connected the wire leads together as you see here and now the screen does turn on and responds to touch so I'm not gonna leave the unit like this of course I'll go ahead and buy that correct thermal fuse and that should fix my problem the new thermal resistor has arrived and I've already attached it to this black cable I need to finish by attaching the other end to the red cable this is what the package looked like, and this came with a metal barrel that's used to connect this resistor to the wire. You could also solder this connection, although you want to make sure that your solder heat doesn't trip and ruin your new thermal sensor. You can do that by using your pliers as a heat sink to move the heat into the pliers rather than all that heat going directly to your thermal resistor. So let's cut and strip this wire and complete some connection. Before we reassemble all of this, I'll turn it on as is, make sure everything is functioning, but I'll also show you a few other pointers in the case that you don't have a thermal resistor problem, you have continuity across the resistor. You might look for some other things. On any kind of electrical board, you can look at the capacitors, see if any of those are blown. If you do have a blown capacitor, the top here that right, that right now is flat will be potentially bulging out. Also, you can look for any components that look burned, and I don't see any components here because it's working. Those components, components would have to be replaced. Also, a common point of failure are switches like this, switches to indicate that the door is closed or open. In this case, this unit only functions when the door is properly closed, when the switch is activated. If you don't hear a clicking noise, it's possible that your little switch is broken. You can also test continuity across the leads back here. You should have continuity when typically, anyway, this switch is activated. And continuity is cut off when switch is not activated. So let's reassemble this and ensure everything fully works. Check it out. Lights are on when plugged in. Touch screen is functional. I don't want to turn it on right now. So let's unplug it and reassemble. The oven is fully assembled. And we've reached 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Nothing is on fire, melting, or burning. This is a good sign. For less than an hour of effort, maybe even 30 minutes and $8, this has been returned to functional use. I hope this helps you with your project.